The coronavirus may have slowed things down in recent times, but the pace of life increases nonetheless. Over the last 30 years, the volume of freight traffic on our roads has doubled, and air traffic has risen by a factor of four. Along with the electric motor, hydrogen-powered drive systems could offer the key to zero-emissions mobility, particularly for long-distance transport. Motorsport is showing how this can be done. When we combine oxygen with hydrogen, we create electricity and water. And we have a lot of electricity with this process. If you want to move a load like a truck, the hydrogen is the only solution that we have right now. Sustainable freight transport powered by hydrogen. This is a solution that could soon be racing ahead, thanks to two researchers from the Fraunhofer Institute for Integrated Systems and Device Technology, IISB, and their new generation of DC-DC converters. Our DC-DC converter is a vital component for the use of fuel cells to power future vehicles. In developing the converter, our aim was to substantially reduce its size while also making it more efficient. The new converter regulates the voltage coming from the fuel cell at an efficiency of 99%. While rival equipment could weigh more than 100 kilograms, the DC-DC converter from Fraunhofer IISB is a genuine lightweight and a mere 17 kilograms. As such, the researchers have turned conventional wisdom on its head. We've devised a switching technology that produces extremely low switching losses. Contrary to received opinion, we've therefore been able to build a converter that is very small, compact and extremely efficient. To understand the increase in power density achieved by the researchers, imagine a power plant compressed to the size of a family home while still delivering the same amount of power. This required further innovations. This not only involved new components for power semiconductor devices, it also required new switching technologies that prevent overvoltages during switching and thereby achieve further significant reductions in switching losses. The converter has already proved itself in endurance tests, including on the racetrack, over a period of 24 hours. Le Mans is very important for new technologies because it's where we test those technology across race cars, and at the end, we use those type of technology on road cars. In the coming years, this new development from Fraunhofer IISB will pave the way for sustainable mobility on all levels, not only on the racetrack, but also for freight and long-distance transport. This way, we can achieve zero-emissions transport by 2030, on the road and in the air.